Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. We're finally doing it. You guys have been asking for this for a long time. We're finally doing a beginner series that I'm going to call the Call of the Wild Experience. We're going to start from level one. We're going to start a brand new game here. I have not done this since I started playing this game in 2017. So this is going to be like starting from the beginning all over again. And I'm really, really excited. I hope you guys do enjoy this series. If you do, don't forget to drop a like and let me know down in the comments if you are excited for this. Thank you very much for watching, but let's just get straight into the video. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do it. Let's just jump in. So I'm going to kind of treat this series as kind of Oh, here we go. We got a pick. Okay, so I'm going to treat this as kind of like a playthrough, you guys. Not a ton of editing. Okay, this is going to be just like kind of like a playthrough style sort of thing. We're going to we're going to do this together. Um, which one do I usually use here? Uh, let's use Remy. Let's use Remy. Reserve Leighton Lakes. Let's start with Let's start with Leighton Lakes. Boom. Let's go. Ah. You made it here in one piece. Welcome to the Untamed Wild. Let's go. <laughs> Name's Colton Locke, but everyone calls me Doc. I'm the warden up here, and I know just about every nook and cranny of this place. I heard this is your first time in the Pacific Northwest and Lake District. Well, this here's the best hunting reserve you'll find in a hundred miles. I've been hunting here my whole life. And I still don't get tired of this place. Man, this is gonna bring back some memories, man. Holy nostalgic already. This is crazy. Okay, Colton Doc Log. I'm not gonna do this is probably not gonna be Go super ahead, mission heavy. Around. There's a lot to discover around here. Not just the big game. Let's not gonna do, you can do not gonna do all the missions. Try to find an animal track around here. Alright, let's accept that. But we'll do we'll do some here and there just to get us going. And then I want to get out and just kind of hunt. I'm just going to play through it the way that I kind of played when I started playing the game, which was mostly hunting. I didn't do a lot of the missions. Okay, we got to locate a track. We got to shoot an animal and we got to harvest it. Okay, so this is where we... All right, do I have my gun? I do. Right, this is where we shoot that doe, right? I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's going to be a doe up here that we shoot. Right? Oh my god. Oh yeah, right here. Right here, right here. Alright. Oh my gosh, these binoculars. Look at these binoculars. Wow. Little one trivial. No spotting info at all up in the top right. Oh my gosh. Now the way that I'm doing this is I'm doing it through Steam with Family Share. So I made a second Steam account and I turned on Family Share and I was able to use, I can use all the games uh, from my main Steam account. So I think there. I actually do have all use the DLCs. To get a closer look. Yeah, so I think I actually have all the DLCs, which is really cool. But obviously, we're starting from level one. We're going to work our way up all the way up to level 60. I'm very excited for this to actually do this. Uh, I've put this off for a very long time, and I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Okay, I got to get her to turn. I don't know why she's so Be sure to aim for its vital organs. Got a shotgun Hard as well. lung shots mean quicker kills, less painful. Gentle Look at down. the wobble when you walk. Take a deep breath to steady your aim. Okay, dude, I got this. Dude, the wobble when you walk. Oh, <laughs> it is wild at level one. Yeah, I need you to turn though, sweetheart. Okay, so this thing is like set to like not spook or something. It's not even going alert. Hang on, I'll just kind of turn. Hello. Careful. The underbrush can be a bit noisy this time of year. I got this stuff. I think. I think. It, Did I get a vital? Believe it'll turn tail and run. Oh, or it feels worse. so much different. Oh no. I might have missed vitals there. Oh, I did miss vitals. Oh my gosh. I am such a noob. It just feels so much different at level one. It's bleeding. Holy. So that's a hit. Follow the blood trail to find it. Shouldn't have gone far. I think I might have redeemed it there with a vital. I'm not sure though. Man, does it ever feel different at level one? My gosh. That's crazy. It's crazy what the skills there and perks times do. When you want to be moving fast out here, but not when on a hunt. There's, there's the animals vital, vital will hear blood. you coming a mile away. We got that lung butter, baby. But yeah, man, it's crazy. You take for granted what the skills and perks do. There goes a bear. Stay low when you're stuck in an animal. Can't to spot, can't do seen. nothing. It's so weird. All right, we got her down. Crazy, dude. So I think I might do like the first few missions just to get like a boost in XP. Maybe hit level two, level three. 
And then I just want to kind of get out and hunt at level one. It's going to be weird, man. It's going to be weird. Also, if I have all the DLCs, I can get the 22 LR in case we see a duck that we want to kill. Where in the world? Where did this thing go? Or a white tailed jackrabbit, right? The other thing is, I'm pretty sure at level one, when you're just starting out, you can't see the level of the animals or anything. So you have to base it on, like, if we see a level, you know, nine legendary black bear, we would never know. Which is crazy. It's so crazy how much different this game is at the low levels. Okay, here she is. All right, what do we got here? First animal, let's go. That first shot was just like, it must have just been, eh, oh, couldn't quite get through that spatch with the 243. Otherwise, that's lung all day long. Second shot, managed to clip the lung on the run there. Cool, our first animal, let's go, baby. Let's go. No. If you want to get your bearings, there are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. Okay. All right. There's no shortage of ways to earn money as a hunter. No shortage of ways to spend it either. Okay, so I think we have to go up here next. He's going to tell us in a second here. Look out point tutorial. Let's go. Listen, did you hear that? I did hear that. Calls are really helpful when locating an animal. Moose call. Yeah, no kidding. Especially at level one. <laughs> you can't spot anything. That's wild. Get your feet moving, I see. Just remember to take a breather before shooting anything. Yeah, that wobble's gonna be real, dude. I think what we're supposed to do right now is go to this lookout point, yeah, so... Right up here, baby. There it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Got a moose up here. Is it a male? Where did he go? Or she? I might have spooked him. Oh no, right here. I got nothing to shoot a moose with, though. I think I've just got a 243. And what else do I have? I've got a shotgun. Try to hit it with the shotgun. Oh, there's a male. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can hit this big boy. Look at him, he's huge. Absolutely massive. Diamond? Ooh, lots of blood. Oh, baby, baby, baby. No, no organs, though. Just bounced off, probably. I don't know what the heck is in this. I probably just uh, bird shot, I'm thinking. What else do I have? Oh, I've also got... Ah, okay. Got a little sidearm action, too. And I've got the road ear collar on me. Okay, very interesting. And I got the bleat. Okay. Got a full loadout, baby. Let's go. So you guys need to let me know down in the comments. So for this episode, I'm not using the face cam. I want to know what you guys think, though. I I'm thinking maybe I won't use the face cam for this series. Uh, like Casey Planet, we didn't use it. Just kind of like an immersion thing. With this series, I'm not too sure. I'm like right on the fence. So you guys need to let me know down below. Do you think it would be better with the face cam uh, added to the screen? Or do you think it's better without it? Let me know down below. And uh, we'll figure it out for the next episode. We did it. Let's go. First lookout point. About to be activated. You love to see it. I think after this, our next mission is to, going to be to go to the first outpost and unlock the first outpost. And then I think after that, we're free to just kind of go out and shoot animals. I think we're just going to go out and start shooting some animals, try to get some XP, get a little bit of skills and perks happening, and work our way up towards level five. All right, so here we go. Here it is. Let's go. Look at that view. Oh, Doc. Never gets old, I'm telling you. From up here, you can see oh, a lot Doc. of great hunting spots in the area. Heck yeah, man. Balmont's not only where Hope set up camp, it's also famous for the railroad bridges along the old North Pacific line. Keep an eye out for them if you can in between blacktail hunting. Or, why not use them as vantage points? I once bagged a whitetail from the Runaki Bridge. Absolutely. Sure stop by one of the outposts. You can find pretty much anything you need there. This actually used to be a fantastic spot to hunt from. I don't know if it still is. It used to be really good for uh, for blacktail. Um, what else did we used to come here for? Man, way back when. I think it was mainly good for blacktail. Uh, and I think whitetail as well. And maybe even elk. 
And maybe even Moose, too. Is that the same guy I shot, I wonder? Okay, I so... you're after Moose. Tough animals, yeah. I tell you. Yeah. Be sure to bring the right caliber weapon to bring them down. Oh, and while their eyesight ain't too good, their smell is. So keep your scent and the hey. wind in mind. Leighton turkeys. Let's go. That's actually my first experience with uh, a Leighton Lakes turkey, baby. Okay, so what I was going to say before Doc rudely interrupted me. So we can already, so we can't see the level. We can see the level. That's right. We can. Three very easy. But that's all we can see. We can't see estimates or anything like that. But we can see the level, which is cool. All right, let's move on. Let's get the outpost. Um, do, 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 do. Where do I have to go? Um, I think the next mission is to go to the outpost. So let's place a waypoint there. Let's get down from here and grab that outpost and kind of get our first taste of home. Our first uh, fast travel location. Turkeys on Layton. So crazy. This is my first time <laughs> hearing or seeing a turkey on Layton. I haven't checked out the turkeys on Layton yet, so that's kind of cool. So let's actually check out the inventory here. What do I actually have on me? Uh, so this is the Kabersham. Okay, so it's a 12 gauge and it currently has, what do we got? We've got Buckshot loaded into it. We've got the 357 with hollow points, soft points in the 243. And then we've got the the, the road ear collar, the bleed collar. We've got Sense Eliminator. And we've actually got the Predator Jackrabbit collar as well. Cool, okay. So like I said, I, I think I actually do have all the DLCs activated here, but I'm not going to use anything that I wouldn't normally be able to use, you guys. Like, I'm not going to get, you know, the M1 or anything like that. I'm going to play this as intended from the beginning. So if there is anything like that that I have for free in the store, I'm not going to I'm not going to utilize it. We'll stick with uh, the early weapons, rather 243, 270. Uh, we'll take things as we go here. I might unlock the 300 in a little while, but I think I might wait on it. And uh, rely on the seven mil. I remember. I remember when I was leveling the first time I played through on my main account. I relied on that seven mil for so long. I like almost right up to level sixty. I think I didn't even get the the three hundred for like a really long time. I was shooting all the big game with seven mil for a super long time. So we'll definitely rely on the seven millimeter a little bit before we do switch to the three hundred for sure. All right, here we go. First outpost claimed. Let's go. We got a fast travel location. Let's go. And we already hit level two as well, I noticed, nice while I was place, running here. Right. Let's go. You won't find a soft bed in many parts around here. Don't forget to stock up before heading out. Yeah, let's see. What do we have? So, I've got... Let's see. Rifle ammo. Du, 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 du. Rifles. Eckers, Kerman, Hudzik, M1. So this stuff is here. But I'm not going to get any of it yet. I'm going to leave it. And uh, we're going to play this as intended. So 270 is locked. We got to get it with the rifle score. So we got to use this 243 for a while. Hey there. You know that guy I mentioned earlier? Uh, Hope? Well, looks like he's been having a bit of a problem lately. He's been camping out oh, over boy. at Balmont a couple weeks, but coming back last night, he found his camp turned on its head. Some food was taken, and apparently the place looked like it had been really messed with. I don't know if it was an animal or some tourist troublemakers, but I'm up in Chopeka all day and can't look into it. Okay. Listen, I know you probably have other plans, but... I do. You're in the right neck of the woods, and... I'd sure be grateful if you could just stop on by and have a look. I guess I could help, maybe. Let's see? Oh, I got a tent. Let's go. We are very low on cash, but we hit level two. We haven't unlocked any skills or perks yet. Can't Hope remember. Showed up here two years ago. Said something about getting off the grid. I heard he lost his family in an accident while he was deployed overseas in the army. Mm -hmm. Hit the poor guy hard. Okay. I guess out here you only need to look out for yourself. It's easier that way. Not the most cheerful fella, to be honest, but he's earned his peace for sure. Okay. Let's find you know out what? whoever did this. You know what? I might just do it just for the XP. I might go help him out. We can see what we find along the way as far as a uh, little hunt in action. But uh, yeah, skills and perks, I cannot remember for the life of me when the first one unlocks. This is literally like doing this for the first time all over again. But um, I imagine maybe at level 3, maybe we'll get a skill or a perk. Which would be awesome. 
So, where does he want me to go? Da, 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 the first steps. Okay, a visitor. Travel to Hope's camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's actually go over there. This is going to be really good for XP, and we'll get some money, too. So let's just do it. And uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled for any wildlife along the way. And see how we can do here. So I bought a little bit of birdshot for the shotgun. I might swap it over. Let's do birdshot. Oh, no, I can't put birdshot in there. No. Okay. Oh, I got 410 birdshot. Hang on. Let's... Hang on. I don't think I can actually get birdshot for the shotgun yet, right? I think I have to unlock that? I think I have to unlock it with shotgun score. So I think, honestly, I think when you start out... You can't actually shoot birds. Now, I should have... I should have the 22 LR unlocked, though. Uh, with weapon pack 1. So let's just see. 22 LR... I would love to use the 22 LR. There it is. Let's get it. Let's get it. Weapon pack one coming in huge. And I highly recommend weapon pack one, guys, when you're starting out because you really are going to want to be able to shoot uh, the turkeys, the ducks, right? The rabbits, all that stuff. So 22 LR jacketed hollow point. Those are the ones we want. Let's get a few. Obviously, we don't have a ton of money. Okay, so we got the 22. And we got our ammo for it. Let's go. Let's get that thing going. On number three. And now we're good to go. And we got the ascent scope for it. Make sure that's on there. Beautiful. Now we're good to go. All right, off we go. Let's see what we find along the way. We're headed to Hope's camp. We're going to do Doc a little favor here. Get some XP, get some money. And see what we see along the way. I would love to shoot something along the way. Maybe we'll see some ducks and we can take out a couple ducks or something. Anything to make a little bit of cash. But maybe we'll get really lucky and see like a level 3 duck or turkey. How cool would it be to get a diamond this early on? That'd be, that would be hilarious. There's another bear. It's a 7. Oh man, I would love to shoot that. I got nothing to shoot it with though. So we'll have to leave it for now. Ooh, a coyote, a five meter. You'll find coyotes all over the reserve, so they're not the most difficult to hunt. They're pack cool. animals, so they respond well to collars, but they can also get aggressive when alerted. So be careful. <laughs> they're a lot more difficult to hunt than uh, than they intended, I think. That's funny, Doc. They're actually pretty hard to hunt, man. They're definitely not the easiest to hunt. But there's a five medium. Male. I'm not gonna pursue it. I'm just gonna keep moving. That's pretty cool. Ooh, 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 whitetail. Ooh, look at this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a couple bucks there. Let's see if we can call them over. Take one down. Let's do 43. Take down our first buck. Yeah. Uh, that's not what I want. That's the bleat right there. That's what I want. Just get them up out of the reeds here. Let's see what's in there. Okay, that's not a bad buck right there. <laughs> okay, there's a few decent little bucks in there. That guy's not bad either. We just pop him right now. Oh, and then we got that little tight rack. I like that one though. Let's see. Let's see. We get his attention. I believe he is the biggest buck in that herd. I've got a doe, like, right beside me. Maybe I'll just take this little guy instead. That should do it for him. Oh, it's making me manually chamber, even though I have it turned off. It's kind of weird. But... I think we got our guy. I think we might have got him. Yep, we did. And I don't think he went very far. Sweet. First buck down. Let's go. Let's friggin' go. Where is he? Right here. Didn't go far at all. Might have even got double lung there. 
Our first little buck. Look at this guy. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. Let's go. I might even get a little picture of this guy. Let's get a little picture of this guy. Might as well. Our first buck of the new series. Very nice. Very nice. I'm happy with that. Hey, you're catching on quickly. Dang right! Let's go. So, let's get to Hope's Camp. Let's get this mission done. How do we do... Okay, we're still level 2. We have a skill point. We have a skill point unlocked. Holy... Okay, what do we want? What do we want first? Let's see. Locate tracks. We gotta pick between locating tracks and scent tinkerer. Okay, so I think locate tracks is what we're gonna... So, let's see. Level 1. The directional tracking cone becomes more accurate and narrower, both in the world and on the map. That's pretty good. What's ambusher? Increases the number of uses per can... Yeah, let's definitely do stalker. Let's go. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Making progress already. You love to see it. You're getting close. Hope mentioned seeing some tracks in the mud. See if you can find them. Okay. Okay, hang on. This might be what we're looking for right here. So we're looking for tracks. Okay. So we're going to have to take a picture of the tracks. Apparently this might actually be... Yeah, this is just this thing. I'm going to leave that for now. Tracks, huh? So, we're basically... They can be anywhere. I'm going to follow this path. I'm guessing they're going to be along the path. Which is right down here. We're looking for tracks. And we're going to have to take pictures of the tracks, apparently. Keep track of where the wind is blowing. Animals will pick up your scent easily if they're downwind from you. So, there's a camp right there. What is this? This is something separate, though. A landmark. And then there's something I can build there. Alright. You found them? Great. Snap some pictures for the record and see if they lead anywhere. Okay. Where are these tracks he wants me to look at, though? Ah, right here. Gotcha. Human tracks. This is what I want a picture of, right? There we go. Yeah, definitely human. Uh -huh. Looks like a troublemaker, then. Now, I don't want you to go picking any fights, but maybe you could follow them and see where they lead. Okay, I can do that. That's something that I can do, Doc. You can you can count on me, bro. I got this. I got this. Those are coyote tracks. All right, here we go. Human tracking. Hmm. Don't do that very often in Call of the Wild. Where is this going to lead? I don't even remember. There's a turkey up here. I don't even remember how this uh <laughs> how this quest plays out, man. It's been so friggin' long since I've done this. Oh, okay, there's something in that tree. I was like, what the heck is that in that tree? That looks very strange. Some ripped clothing. And no more tracks, huh? Well, oh. just leave it for now and I'll it went see poof. what I can come up with. It went poof right here. Oh, this gosh. This will help, though. Thanks. You're welcome, Doc. It's my pleasure. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Did I just hit that? I don't think I did. Okay, cool. So, that gets us to level 3. And we got a perk point! Let's go! Okay, now, which one do we want to start with? So, if we start with this, unlocks the ability to ready your next shot without leaving aim mode. Ah, I see, I like that. That's what we need. That's what we need right there. Now, if we pick the handgun perk, unlocks the ability to reload all weapons while running. That's pretty nice. Shotgun perk, decrease edge blur when using shotguns with iron, red dot, and hollow sights. Each level unlocked increases the effect. Okay, I don't think I'm going to take that one. And then increases the time. Okay, so we're not going to mess with bows yet. I think we're going to do the rifle perk. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. That's going to be helpful. So we got our first skill. We got our first perk. Doc is happy. Everyone's happy. We took down our first buck. I think that's going to be a good way to cap off the first episode, you guys. What do you guys think? Super excited for this series. I hope you guys are excited for it. Uh, it's been a long time coming. A lot of people have wanted me to do to do a beginner-style series starting from level one. And uh, that's how we're starting off the new year. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you are. If you want to see me uh, start using a face cam with the series or if you think it might be better without the face cam, let me know down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed 
enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.